perfect. God, I'm waking. <laughs> Got him. Welcome back to Switchback Outdoors. This is the Icon Tour Open Season. This is episode nine. I'm taking a break from editing real quick and taking a quick walk. It's very cold outside, but I'm excited to announce the winner of last episode's giveaway, which is for the Ready Wise Two Day Adventure Meal Pack. And what you have to do is try to guess the score of my bowl, which is always fun to kind of see your guys' guesses. I could care less what he ended up scoring, but it was fun to see what you guys thought of him. So the winner of that was Corey Smith. 346 and 38. That's what we scored a match. It wasn't an official score. Um, but Corey, shoot us an email, switch back outdoors, TV at Gmail. We got a prize heading your way. On today's episode, we're giving away a phone scope. If you guys can't tell, we use phone scope a lot. Any of the up close um, images or pictures or um, video you see of the animals comes to a phone scope. So be sure to be subscribed to Switch Back Outdoors YouTube channel and leave a comment on this video. If you haven't entered in to win the grand prize, there's a link in the description. Someone's gonna be very, very happy whoever wins that grand prize. We're doing something cool at the end of this hunting episode. We did a gear review on this jack that I'm wearing right here, the Black Ovis Anchor Point. We have three different people's perspectives, so mine, Jim, and Steven's perspective on this jacket. We put it all into one video. That way you can kind of see what each one of us thought of that jacket. So that's at the end. Check it out. I know Black Ovis just got those back in stock, so. If you like what we said about it or what we thought about it, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. I'm going to get out of your guys' hair. This is episode nine. You guys are going to see Steven shoot an awesome Idaho bull. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, it is uh, October 22nd. It's about 7.30. Uh, it's still pretty dark, but the sun's slowly coming up. Uh, yesterday, we hiked about 14.8 miles. and. We didn't see anything, unfortunately. Uh, feet are a little sore today, but we're gonna get up on this mountainside this morning and find a good glassing point and probably just sit there all day and hopefully we uh, find a bowl this morning. Me and Paul have been hunting hard the last couple days and we haven't had any elk sightings but we a big rainstorm was coming in so we took shelter in, in this little cave and built a fire and uh, I just happened to stand out and look in this saddle and there's five elk there. There's a small bull, he looks like a small four, maybe really small five, which I'd probably shoot him so we might try to come up with a game plan to get over there and make a move. dropping down after these elk and the elk are dropping straight down in uh, also and last I ranged they were about 730 yards so we need a couple hundred yards closer and we might be able to get a shot they're dropping down into some thick trees and we're gonna try to cut them off so we'll get after it Well, uh, 
me and Paul have been hunting the last couple days pretty hard not seeing much and we got in this canyon and a uh, rainstorm blew in we had made a fire and got in this cave that we found uh, right after the little rainstorm blew through uh, I spotted these elk uh, feeding out over the saddle uh, and there was a bull in it he was it's he's, he's either a small four or five point he's not real big but uh, I have very limited time left and uh, pulled the trigger had a 300 yard shot right here uh, he's a tough bull twice but he's down, we heard him crash, and so we're gonna, rain's coming back in, we're gonna pack up our things, get down to the bowl, and uh, check him out. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little four point. Thank you so much for watching Switch Back Outdoors. Today we are reviewing the Black Ovis Anchor Point Down Jacket. All right guys, so something we decided to do this past year is we wanted to do a gear review, but not just get one person's perspective on it. So we reached out to Black Ovis, they sent us three jackets. So I had one, Jim had one, and Steven had one. We started hunting in these last spring bear season and we wore them all through the fall. So the cool thing about this is you're gonna get my perspective on the jacket and then Jim and Steven also did a video, which you're gonna see right after mine, of what they thought of the jacket. So I'm not gonna jump into a lot of the tech specs of it just because um, I don't know if they talked about that, so I'm going to overlay some of the key features of the Anchor Point jacket from Black Ovis. And, uh, and really, I'm just going to give you what I thought of the jacket. One of the biggest things that I loved about this jacket was the price point. I've had down jackets that cost, you know, three, four hundred dollars. And I was afraid to even wear those hunting because I was afraid they were going to get ruined. So I would put them on when I was glassing. And then other than that, they would be in my backpack. This jacket, it comes in at around $184. And I wore it while I was hiking. I wore it through the brush. I wore it through trees. I was able to really use and abuse it and wear a jacket like you should be able to wear a jacket. And I wasn't afraid. So the anchor point jacket right there ex exceeded my expectations. I didn't get any rips or tears in mine at all. Um, and I wore it, like I said, through spring bear, early season, um, and late season. It was a piece of item that was pretty much always in my backpack. It weighs hardly anything and it compresses down so small. You, you can leave it in your backpack. Even on those days where it starts off really nice, you, as you guys know, a storm can roll in and you're wishing you would have had a down jacket in your backpack. Um, another great feature that I loved about it and probably one of the next, my second favorite thing was that the Anchor Point jacket stuffs into its own pocket. I've had the, my, my other uh, down jackets, they have their own compression sack. And if you lost that compression sack, you couldn't roll it and compress it anymore unless you were able to buy one or find one that it would fit in. This one just fits right inside its right pocket, it zips up really nice. I was able to use this as a rear support for a shooting, um, use it as a pillow. It's got a loop here. And uh, like I said, right, that right there was huge to me because I've lost those stuff sacks for those other down jackets. And like I said, I was out unless I wanted to order another one and I was always too lazy to order one. So you're never gonna lose your zipper. So it being able to zip into its own zipper was pretty amazing. Um, at night, I love sleeping with my arms outside of a sleeping bag. So what I do a lot, I would just wear this inside my sleeping bag. Um, and so I was able just to put it on, I would put the hood over my head to keep my head warm and I would sleep with this jacket on um, which I know some people like that, some people don't, but I loved it just because I could have my arms outside of my sleeping bag and able to move around and I still stayed, stayed warm. So as far as hours go that I wore this jacket, I would say it's quite a bit because I wore it a lot when I was sleeping too. Um, it's got one chest pocket here and um, like I said, there's not a lot that I didn't love about this jacket. The hood fit really well, it was articulated really well, zipped up, covered up your face if you got really cold. Um, 
But like I said, as far as tech specs, I'll overlay those throughout the video just because, um, like I said, I don't know what Jim and Steven said. That was the cool thing that we thought about doing this review. And we've been holding on to this review because we wanted to be able to use it for almost a year now to give you guys our actual thoughts on it. We didn't want to just go use it on one hunt and say, oh yeah, it was great and amazing. And, and then, you know, the next week we had something fail on it. I personally didn't ever have it fail on me. Like I said, no rips or tears in the sleeves, anything like that. Another reason why we wanted to hold on to this is Black Ovis just got these back in stock. So we'll leave a link in the description for their website. You can go on there. They just released a new color. It's kind of like a, a sub steel color, like a light gray. Um, so they are back in stock right now. So you can order if you think it's something that you might want to want to have in your hunting pack. But this is the Black Ovis Anchor Point. They also have the Anchor Point pants. Uh, I have those, but I never had a chance to use them yet just because it was never cold enough or if it was, um, I never sat long enough to where I needed to put those on, but they have a matching pant to go with. So you have down pants. So if you're ever in a really cold situation, you can put on those, those anchor point pants and you're going to be about as warm as you can be on a mountain. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to let you guys see what Jim and Steven thought of the anchor point jacket and uh you never know they they that's the cool thing is they might have picked up on something that i didn't think about as a feature and that they did so three perspectives on the same jacket like i said black Ovis anchor point i loved it and uh, i think it's a piece of item i would recommend to anyone and i have like no issues at all doing doing a review on this jacket and letting you guys know about it because it was something that was in my pack all the time so here is jim and steven's thoughts Hello. So it's that time of year, things cool off, and first thing we start digging out of our trucks is puffy coat, something to keep you warm. So brings us here today. We have the Black Ovis Anchor Point Puffy. We got these last spring uh, for a bear hunt, had a little bit of use for them, and then it's prime time for them now. So overall, this is an 800 fill down puffy. So you can see, all welded seams, keep it all separated. Some of the high points of this jacket that I really like is its compactness. Um, I'll show you at the end here, but it fits into its pocket and will be very manageable in your pack. Other things that I like about it is the color. Overall, the color is a real flat color, as you can tell, or there's some puppies now, kind of metallics. Uh, I really do enjoy this flat color. It's nice when you're out in the field. Nothing shines, nothing <clears throat> stands out or looks awkward. Um, other things about it is the hood. The cut of the hood has always been something that I look for in coats. It's like designed if it fits around your ears, if it's too tight on your ears, so all you can hear is the coat when you're walking, stuff like this. It has ample room so I can still hear stuff if I have the hood on, but um, yeah what I think on that uh, other factors that I like about it is you can spend as much money as you want on a puffy out there right now which it seems a little ridiculous but these ones the price point on them are super good I think it's like 180 bucks 189 to be exact but um, price point is awesome for what you're getting for an 800 filled down coat overall very quiet exterior to the coat <clears throat> um, and like I said compactability so show you that just slides in its own pocket and as you've seen with some of our other stuff it's nice to have this in your pack it's not loose thin and other thing that I'd like to mention about these is not only the coat they also have a pant it's made in the same exact colors size pattern um, also super warm for like when you're glassing those cold mornings sitting on a ridge or if the wind's blowing both of these coat and the pants have cut the wind the time I wore them in the wind um, not really an issue kept me super warm insulated 
and I think as James Nash likes to say these are a good piece of gear so as you can see fits into its own pocket zips up uh, one of our previous videos we saw that we were using this for shooting rest um, but it's one thing that I always have either in my truck at work or uh, in my pack while hunting all right, today we're gonna to do a quick review on this Black Ovis Anchor Point Down jacket that I have on. Uh, it's ultra lightweight, coming in around 12 ounces, depending on the size that you get. Uh, I was able to test it out this last year on all sorts of different hunts in all sorts of different weather conditions, uh, whether we were elk hunting out in Idaho or mule deer hunting in Oregon. Uh, it's been one of my most used pieces of gear and it's great for those long days when you're sitting out glassing in the cold weather. Uh, it really adds that extra layer of warmth and protects you I uh, really look forward to, to testing it out some more this year on some more hunts. Uh, and I can't thank Black Ovis enough for, for letting us try it out. Thank you for watching episode 9 of the Icon Tour Open Season. On this video, we're giving away a phone scope. All you have to do to enter is be sure to be subscribed to Switchback Outdoors' YouTube channel and comment on this video. If you want to, tell a friend about us and you can share this video on social media. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next episode.